I feel like winter has come and the new year is coming. I need to go outside quickly to make sure of this. Wow, I've been waiting for winter for so long. I have a great idea on how you can joke with the guys while they sleep. I'll take a shovel and dig up snow, and then I'll throw snowballs at them while they sleep. I'm sure they won't expect this at all. I'll dig up as much snow as possible so they can feel what the cold is like. I'm sure it will be funny and amusing. Wake up soon. Winter has already come, which means that Christmas is coming and gifts await us. A few moments later... Hey guys! Let's build a bunch of snowmen outside our house. Do we have enough snow? Of course, we have plenty of snow. Where will we build them? Near the entrance? Yes, it would be great near the entrance. Let's start with the biggest snowman. We need to find a place where it will look most impressive. Good idea! Let's choose an open space near the door so everyone can see our snowman. Let's start with a large ball for the bottom. Great! Now let's create a middle ball and place it a little higher than the first one. We can use a smaller snow globe for the head. What about the decorations? Can we use branches for the hands and stones or carrots for the eyes and nose? Of course! Let's find thin branches for the arms and attach them to the snowman. We use stones or carrots for the eyes and nose to give them expressiveness. Let's also add brightly colored fabric scarves around each snowman's neck. This will give them additional winter charm. Great idea! Let's find some bright fabric and make scarves out of it for each snowman. This will make them even more cozy. That's it! Our snowmen look amazing! They are so different and funny. Now everyone who comes to our house will see this cheerful bunch of snowmen. This was a fun and creative activity. I'm glad that we were able to create such a winter atmosphere near our house. I agree. This is a great way to add some holiday cheer. Now let's invite the rest of our friends to enjoy our wonderful snowmen too. A few moments later... New Year is my favorite time of year. I love New Year's holidays because they are filled with joy and fun. It is a time when we can gather with friends and family, celebrate, share gifts, and create wonderful memories. Absolutely agree. For me, New Year is a time of hope and renewal. When the new year comes, I feel the opportunity to start over with a clean slate, set new goals and dreams. This inspires me and gives me energy for the whole next year. Yes, and for me, New Year is a time when a special atmosphere reigns around us. Everything is surrounded by bright lights, expectation of a miracle and goodwill. People become more friendly, ready to help each other and share joy. A time of family traditions, parties and fireworks. All this makes the New Year special. Exactly. New Year is a time when we can relax and enjoy a simply wonderful time. We can watch holiday movies, listen to music, play games, and just enjoy each other's presence. And another thing I love about the New Year is a buffet with delicious food. All these holiday dishes and sweets bring us together around the table to savor the flavors and make our bellies happy. Right, New Year is a wonderful occasion for joy, gratitude, and hope. I can't wait for next New Year to create even more magical moments with you all. In general, New Year is a time when we can rest, recover, and enjoy life. This is a special period that I look forward to every year, and I'm glad that we have such a wonderful reason to celebrate it together. A few moments later... Hey guys! Let's decorate our Christmas tree and the street so that Santa Claus will definitely notice us. Do we have garlands, balloons, tinsel, and other decorations? Of course! I brought a box with bright garlands, sparkly balls, and tinsel. We also have small reindeer and Santa figures. Let's start by decorating the Christmas tree. Great! Let's place garlands around the tree, creating a bright and cheerful look. Let's add balls of different colors and sizes to make the tree a real holiday decoration. What about street decoration? Let's hang garlands and lights on the trees that grow along the street. We can also place reindeer and Santa figures next to houses. Great idea! Let's put reindeer figures on the front lawn of every home and place a Santa figure next to the front door. We can also decorate windows with garlands and hang lights on the roof of houses. What about the entrance? We can place large garlands along the fence and install glowing snowmen and gifts near the entrance gate. Great! Let's not forget to add some tinsel around the trees and bushes to create even more holiday cheer. And don't forget to turn on all the lights and garlands so that they glow in the dark. Everything is ready. Our tree and street look incredibly festive. Now Santa Claus will probably notice us and want to visit every house. Let's hope it brings us a lot of joy and gifts. Amen! Let's enjoy our decorations and wait for Santa to come. It's going to be a wonderful holiday season. A few moments later... Hey guys! We all know that Santa Claus is famous for his generosity. Let's tell you what gifts we would like to receive from him. I dream of a new laptop. I've been wanting a more powerful computer for work and school for a long time and I hope Santa will hear my request. 
I'd like to get a new camera. I'm into photography and my old camera is outdated. I dream of a professional DSLR camera to take even better and more beautiful pictures. You're right. Health and happiness are the most important things. I would also like to wish us all love, friendship, and success in all our endeavors. I would like to get a trip to an exotic country. I have always dreamed of visiting Bali or Thailand. I want to explore new places, experience different cultures, and enjoy beautiful landscapes. Sounds great. What about asking Santa for health and happiness for us and our loved ones? After all, the most valuable gifts often cannot be bought in a store. You're right. Health and happiness are the most important things. I would also like to wish us all love, friendship, and success in all our endeavors. Amen. Let's not forget that the most important thing is to be together, support each other, and create beautiful moments together. May our wishes come true, and may Santa bring us joy and smiles. I agree 100%. Let's leave our wishes to Santa and enjoy this magical time of year together. A few moments later. First on the list, I have Fluttershy. He always dreamed of a new construction set. I'm sure he'll be delighted to receive a creative set with a variety of parts so he can build and create his own amazing designs. Next, I have Rainbow Dash. She always loved to draw and create. I think she will love a selection of art supplies. Paints, brushes, markers, and canvases. She will be able to show her talent and create beautiful works of art. Next on my list is Pinkie Pie. He is passionate about science and research. I think giving him a set of science experiments and laboratory equipment would be a great idea. He will be able to conduct his own experiments and discover amazing scientific facts. And finally, I have Applejack. She always dreamed of a soft teddy bear toy. I think that giving her a big and fluffy teddy bear would be the best gift. She will be able to hug him, play and spend time in pleasant company. I am confident that I have chosen gifts that will bring joy to each child. I was collecting gifts to deliver them during Christmas night. A few moments later... Wow, guys, your gifts sound amazing. I'm happy for you. Now let's see what I have. Santa gave me a trip to an exotic country. I just can't believe my luck. I will be able to meet new cultures, explore amazing places, and enjoy unforgettable adventures. Thank you, Santa Claus, for this incredible gift. Hooray! We all received such wonderful gifts. But you know guys, the most important thing is that we spend this Christmas together. We have been friends for many years, and this time of year gives us the opportunity to enjoy moments of happiness and support each other. This is a gift that is not available in stores. You're right, Rainbow Dash. Joy, friendship, and love are what make Christmas special. We can share our joys and take care of each other. After all, the most valuable gifts are those that we give to each other without expecting anything in return. Absolutely. Let's cherish this moment and create unforgettable memories. Together we can make this Christmas truly special and magical. I agree 100%. Let's enjoy this wonderful time together. Cook delicious treats, sing carols, and exchange gifts. Thank you, friends, and thank you, Santa Claus, for making our lives brighter and full of joy. New Year is coming soon, and I really want our holiday to be comfortable. Let's discuss what things you need to take with you. I agree. Let's make a list. First of all, we need warm clothes, considering that we are going on vacation in the winter. We'll definitely take coats, hats, scarves, and gloves. Yes, I agree. It is also worth considering warm clothes for night walks or attending outdoor events. For example, comfortable warm boots, thermal underwear, and warm socks. Of course, don't forget sweaters and hoodies. They will also come in handy, especially if we plan to spend time outdoors. What about outdoor gear? We're going to spend time in nature. Right. We will need backpacks, sleeping bags, mats, and burners for cooking. And of course, don't forget flashlights or headlamps for illumination in the evening. I'll add a couple more things. Take tents with you if we plan to spend the night outdoors, and air mattresses for greater comfort. Good idea. And don't forget about thermoses or thermal mugs for hot drinks. They come in handy to keep you warm on cold days. Great, we've got a pretty good list already. We also need to think about personal hygiene. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, shampoo, and other hygiene products should be on our list. Yes, and don't forget about the medicine and first aid kit. It is important to be prepared for possible unforeseen situations. Exactly. Safety comes first. Also, be sure to bring chargers for cell phones or other electronic devices. Last but not least, let's not forget about the mood. Let's take with us outfits and accessories for the New Year's party to make our holiday even more festive. Great! 
We've put together a great list. Now all that remains is to collect everything you need and prepare for our unforgettable vacation for the new year. A few moments later. Great. We've discussed what things you need to take with you on your New Year's holiday. You need to quickly run to your room and take everything you need from the chest. I think that you need to take food, diamonds, and some money with you. I think that this is all the essentials on the road. I will also take winter clothes with me, because now it is snowing outside and very cold. I am sure that they will help me warm up and not freeze. I will put them on right now. Great, I'm ready to go. Oh no, I forgot my hat. I'll be right back and pick it up. It's good that I remembered her at the last moment. Great, now I haven't forgotten anything. I need to run to the guys quickly. We should leave already, as a taxi is waiting for us on the street. Oh no, I really wanted to go to the toilet. I won't get to the airport. I hope the guys will wait for me. A few moments later. Well, all our things are packed and we're ready to go on vacation. I think we checked everything and didn't forget anything important. Yes, I checked the list a few times and everything looks fine. We carry clothing, accessories, outdoor gear, and personal care. And we haven't forgotten about safety. We have a first aid kit, medications, and chargers for electronics. We thought of everything. I feel calm knowing that we didn't leave anything important behind. Now we can just relax and enjoy our holiday. Absolutely agree. I can already imagine how we will spend time enjoying nature in the festive atmosphere. We'll have an unforgettable vacation. I can't wait to start our adventure trip. Oh no, guys, you forgot me. How can that be? I was in the toilet. Hey, guys, wait for me. Don't leave without me. Hey, I don't want to be alone all weekend. How did this happen? No, guys, wait. Great, they all left. Only Fluttershy remained at home. I don't think he can do anything to us alone. We need to wait until night when everyone is asleep. I'm sure we can make a lot of money. Oh no, there's a robber's car near our house. They obviously knew something about our departure and wanted to rob our house the moment we left for vacation. They think that everyone has left and no one is home. We need to figure out how to protect the house from burglars. I think we need to come up with some traps for robbers to punish them. A few moments later. I got a great idea on how to teach the robbers a lesson. I'll now go to the kitchen and fill the buckets with water. And then I'll dig a hole in the street and fill it with water. The water will turn into ice and the robbers will slip and fall. Maybe this will stop them and they will not go into the house. Great. While they wait for the night, I'll make traps for them. I think this would be an ideal place to make a trap for burglars. They will definitely not notice it and slip. If that doesn't stop them, I'll make a trap on the stairs in the house with an anvil that will fall on one of their heads. If the anvil trap doesn't stop them, I'll make another one that will definitely stop them. I will place a chest with a trap in which I will put diamonds, and under the chest, I will hide dynamite. When you open the chest, they will fly into the air. I think this will make them think that it is bad to rob other people's houses. All that remains is to place dynamite under the chest, which they will not be able to notice until they hear the explosion. Great! I've prepared everything for the arrival of the robbers. Now all I have to do is wait until nightfall. A few moments later... Okay, finally everyone has left and the neighbors are sleeping. Time to get down to business. Exactly, this is the perfect moment for our robbery. Do we have a plan? Yes, I studied the layout of the house. Our first goal is to get inside unnoticed. I have a set of tools for opening locks. Great. I suggest you act carefully and quietly. We don't want to attract the neighbor's attention or set off the alarm. I agree. Let's check if there are any video cameras or other security systems around the house. We need to be prepared for such obstacles. Good idea. If we detect cameras, we can try to bypass them or turn them off to minimize the risk. Once we get inside, we need to quickly and efficiently search the house for valuables. Don't waste time on trifles. Let's concentrate on the most valuable items. Correct. Let's be attentive and careful. If something goes wrong, we must have a backup plan and an escape route. A few moments later... Oh no, the robbers managed to get into the house. We need to quickly use the second trap. Otherwise, they will kill me and rob the house. Oh no, please don't take it out of me. Oh my god, I almost died. Now I'll definitely deal with Fluttershy, no matter what it costs me. We quickly run after him before he hides somewhere. He is alone at home. No one will help him now. I think he hid in his room because he had nowhere to run. Hey, we managed to find a chest with diamonds. Let's open it quickly and take our diamonds that we came for. Oh no, this is another Fluttershy trap. We're finished. 
They fell into my trap. Now they are definitely finished. I knew they couldn't get past her. Now they won't come into our house for a long time. We need to call the guys quickly and tell them about this. Three days later. We have just returned from our New Year's holiday. Yes, it was amazing. But before we continue, we want to talk to you, Flattershy. Exactly, we have something very important that we want to say. What's happened? We want to apologize to you, Fluttershy. We made a mistake by leaving you alone at home during our vacation. We realized that this was unfair and disrespectful on our part. You deserved our attention and care, and we are very sorry that we did not think about it. We really value your friendship and understand that it was wrong to leave you alone. You are important to us, and we didn't want to upset or offend you. I actually felt quite alone, but I'm glad you decided to discuss it. We want to promise you, name of fourth friend, that we will be more attentive and caring in the future. Your friendship means a lot to us, and we want to correct our mistake. We are deeply sorry and promise not to repeat this situation again. We hope that you can forgive us and continue our friendship. You are important to each of us, and we want to do everything we can to regain your trust. I appreciate your admission of error and your apology. I also want to continue our friendship. Let's do our best to ensure mutual respect and consideration for each other. Ho 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 ho! Hello my dear viewers! Hello girls! How am I glad to see you! Finally we will survive together in the Minecraft! Only this is not ordinary survival! Just look how cold it is. Hello, audience. Hello, Fluttershy. Hello, Pinkie Pie. Hello, Rainbow Dash. Girls, how am I glad to see you? Finally, we have come together to play in the Minecraft. Girls, looks like we are in the winter biome. How can we survive in it? Hello. Girls, here we are together. Very soon it will be Christmas and we are standing here and freezing. We urgently need to build a house. But for this, we need resources. Burr! Girls, it's really cold here. We really need to build our house as soon as possible. By the way, everyone come Christmas. How do you plan to celebrate Christmas? And oh, everyone hello. Girls, do not worry. We just wanted to talk about it. So, we need to think who will do what. All right, so far we have to get some wood anyway. Girls, send faster to get wood. Hmm, to get a tree is a really good idea. So for a start, we need to get quite a bit of wood to scratch themselves wooden tools. Girls, let's not delay and let's go get a tree. Fluttershy, guide us. So, girls, send for me. I will lead you to the trees we will extract to make them into wooden tools. Let's not delay. We need to hurry. Time is not rubber. Girls, flutter right. We really need to hurry. We do not have much time and we spend it on empty conversations. Because of this, we will then have to work hard to build our house for this video. Girls, keep up. Girls, and I already see the trees that we are going to extract. There are just four of them. We will have enough of them to cover ourselves with wooden tools. By the way, can someone remind me why we need wooden tools? Rainbow Dash, how could you forget that? With the help of wooden tools, we will get the resources much faster. I think that now we will craft wooden axes, because for the house we will need quite a lot of wood. Pinkie Pie, you think absolutely right. We will make ourselves wooden axes. Girls, let's get your trees already. Personally, I have already got my own way. Girls, let's hurry up, please. Girls, but we made ourselves a wooden tool. This is very good. In such a small amount of time, we have managed to scrape our own wooden tools. I think now we will go to extract wood. We need a lot of it. Yes, girls, we are really good. In such a harsh winter biome, we are advancing quite quickly. Well, in principle, it is right. Need to move more, so do not freeze. By the way, Sparkle, what's the plan now? Yeah! Sparkle, we would really like to hear our plan, because I am already frozen here standing. Well, I'll tolerate. But you still say it faster. Please, I... So, plan the plan. Um, I think that for a start, we need to get as much wood as possible so that we can build a house out of this tree. So, Fluttershy, guide us. We must get as much wood as possible. So, girls, do not worry. Send quickly for me. I will take you to the forest. There are plenty of trees there. We will definitely have enough of them. We can do this. Girls, but we are already in the forest. 
Fluttershy, thank you for taking us so quickly. You're good. So, girls, go to the extraction of wood. We need to get at least 32 logs. This amount will definitely be enough for us to build our house. Sparkle, don't worry. We have already all started to harvest wood. We will have time to get enough wood. It is definitely. So, girls, we still need sand and we all went to extract wood. Oh my God. Girls, we really all went to mine wood. It turns out that our house will be without glass. I believe that without glass, it is not home. He will not turn beautiful. Uh, I am very upset. How did this happen? Why have we all forgotten that we still need to get sand? Girls, I want to please you. I did not forget about the sand. I scraped a wooden shovel and already began to mine it. Fluttershy, so you cannot worry about our house. It will definitely have glass. Everything will be fine. Girls, do not worry. Oh my God, this just can't be. Pinkie Pie, how clever are you? How lucky are we all to have you on our team? Pinkie Pie, you're so smart. Pinkie Pie, this is really very cool. You really helped us. And then we would have to choose a person who would go for the sand. And he would make himself a wooden shovel. It would take a lot of time. So we are very lucky that you yourself decided to go mining sand. Thank you. Oh, Pinkie Pie, this is really very cool. How good that you are on our team. You are the coolest of my friends. I hope you get enough sand for our house and we'll be fine. Girls, thank you so much for such warm words. I was very pleased to hear them. Thank you. By the way, do not worry about the sand. I will definitely have time to get it. It is mined quickly enough. For example, now I have got 32 pieces. I will get a little bit more just in case. Maybe we don't have enough. Pinkie Pie, this is just great news. By the way, girls, and how are things with the extraction of wood? I just got enough wood for our house. But I can help you if you do not have time. And if you also have got enough logs, then send already to build a house. Fluttershy, I don't know about the others, but I've got enough wood. So I think we can already go build our house. It has to be very big and beautiful. I believe that we will succeed. Let's go build a house. Girls, but we have found a pretty good place to build our house. Here's a pretty flat clearing. Our house will look very beautiful here. So, I will build a floor. Friends, what will you do? Oh, I am so glad that we have finally started building our house. Judging by the foundation of our house will be quite big. All right, well, if Fluttershy is building the foundation, I'll be doing the window work in our house. Hmm, then I will be building pillar and ceiling for our house. Girls, let's a little hurry up. If we do not have time to build our house, we cannot risk. Pinkie Pie, and what will you do? Girls, let me deal with Christmas trinkets. I have a lot of them. I have snowmen, sled, garlands, beds, bedside tables, and I have a Christmas tree. And I have socks. Santa Claus will put presents under the tree and he will put some sweets in our socks. Pinkie Pie, this is a pretty good idea. I'm just in a bewilderment from you today. You're a real smart girl. You have even thought through this moment and got somewhere that Christmas paraphernalia. How good it is that you are our friend. It's still worth looking for. Oh, and here is almost finished construction of our house. Thanks to Pinkie Pie, it turned out quite unusual and very beautiful. Thank you for getting these New Year's trinkets. You are a true friend. Girls, thank you for today's survival. I really liked it. Audience, do not forget to like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, this is the coolest survival I remember. Girls, thank you for spending this day with me. We have done a lot. I really liked it. Audience, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be very pleased. Bye. This is the coolest survival. We even decorated our house by Christmas. Girls, I just will fall from happiness. It all thanks to the Pinkie Pie. Thank you for the Christmas miracle. Subscribers, do not forget to write comments under this video. We will definitely read them. Audience, I congratulate you on coming Christmas. Visit our channel more often. Bye! With you is Pinkie Pie. Son, what would you say if we build a McDonald's together? It will be fun and interesting. 
Yes, Dad, sounds great. I've always dreamed of creating something big and unique, and McDonald's is a great idea. Okay, let's start by choosing a suitable location for our restaurant. Where would be the best place to build it? Maybe in the center of our city. I like the idea of building it in the city center. This way, it will be visible to all players and we can create a prominent place in the city. Great. Now we need to think about design and architecture. Let's study pictures of real McDonald's to make it as realistic as possible. Yes, we must have signature elements such as the famous Golden Arc logo and decoration inside the restaurant. We can use various blocks and objects to create a logo and interior. Also, let's not forget about the entrance, windows, and tables for visitors. I already have several ideas for the menu and buffet tables. We can place food and drink counters and add tables for visitors. Great! This will be a great project in which we can show our imagination and creativity. Let's start building and turn our McDonald's into the most popular place in our city. A few moments later... I started building a small McDonald's near the road in Minecraft. I think it will be convenient for players passing by. I have chosen a suitable location where I can place a restaurant and a small parking lot nearby. This will make it easy for players to stop by and visit McDonald's. I'm building a sign with the McDonald's logo so it's visible from the road. I will also add windows and an entrance to the restaurant for the convenience of visitors. Inside McDonald's, there will be counters with food and drinks, as well as several tables for customers. I will make sure to create a cozy and friendly atmosphere. I want this McDonald's to become a popular place for players to relax and enjoy virtual treats. To create a cozy and friendly atmosphere inside McDonald's, you can use several design elements. I can use a variety of blocks and objects to create a nice atmosphere. You can use wooden blocks to create a warm and cozy wall design. I will place several torches or lamps around the restaurant to add a comfortable and bright light. You can also use different types of lighting, such as ceiling lights or light blocks, to create interesting effects. You need to place plants, flowers, or decorative items to add a lively and pleasant atmosphere. For example, you can place pots of flowers on tables or hang pictures or posters on the walls. In the future, I will add background music or sounds to create a comfortable atmosphere. For example, you can play music that is associated with McDonald's or just pleasant melodies. Also, I want to hire friendly employees who will play the role of waiters so that they can serve visitors, take orders, and prepare delicious burgers for them. I actually really like McDonald's. First of all, their burgers are absolutely delicious. I love the juicy beef, fresh vegetables, and mouth-watering sauces they use. It's always nice and satisfying to eat a McDonald's hamburger. Plus, they have a wide menu selection. I can choose between different types of burgers, fries, salads, and milkshakes. There is always something to vary and suit my taste preferences. Another reason why I love McDonald's is their cozy atmosphere. When I walk into their restaurants, I feel a friendly environment and fast service. This is a place where I can relax, chat with friends, and enjoy delicious food. McDonald's is part of my nostalgia and childhood memories. After all, this is a place where I spent time with family and friends and created pleasant memories. I'm sure my Minecraft McDonald's will be popular for several reasons. Firstly, I paid a lot of attention to detail and tried to create as realistic and attractive a place as possible. Secondly, I will add interesting game elements that will make visiting the restaurant exciting and varied. For example, I'll create mini-games where players can compete in cooking burgers or serving customers. In addition, I will take into account the wishes and preferences of the players to create a McDonald's that will be enjoyable for everyone. I will have a varied menu with delicious dishes, as well as a cozy atmosphere and friendly staff. Finally, I will actively promote my McDonald's to attract the attention of players and get them interested. I will be running free burger promotions and inviting other players to tours and events. As a result, I believe that the combination of quality design unique gaming elements, and strong promotion will make my McDonald's popular and attractive to many customers. I'm absolutely delighted with my build. When I see my McDonald's in Minecraft, I feel proud and satisfied with the work I've done. Every detail and design element I put into the project exceeded my expectations. I tried to create a realistic restaurant down to the smallest detail, from the shape and placement of windows to the use of suitable blocks and materials. In addition, I have added interesting gaming elements to make visiting my McDonald's exciting and fun. 
I created unique play areas, hidden rooms, and added interactive elements that I know will delight visitors. This whole building and design process has been a real creative adventure for me. I was able to show my imagination and creativity, and the result impresses me. I can't wait to show off my build to friends and other players. I'm sure they will also be delighted with what I have created. This is truly a great achievement for me, and I am proud of my work. A few moments later... I think I have an even better idea. Why not open a McDonald's tap room in Minecraft? This combination of a classic fast food restaurant and a beer joint can be unique and attractive to players. I may add a special section to the menu where we offer different types of beer, as well as corresponding snacks that will be perfect for this drink. McDonald's burgers, fries, and other popular items can be enhanced with new variations to suit the tap room's ambience. In addition, I can create a cozy and atmospheric environment inside the restaurant. We will add tables and chairs, decorations, lamps, and even a bar counter so that players can feel the atmosphere of a real pub. My beer McDonald's will be an attractive place for players who want to combine delicious food with the opportunity to enjoy beer. It will be a unique and interesting experience that I am sure will be popular among players. I will create a unique McDonald's beer design that will combine traditional pub elements and the recognizable McDonald's style. For the interior design, I use oak logs and planks to create a period pub feel. The walls and ceiling can be finished with wood panels, and decorative elements can be added, such as wrought iron lamps and framed paintings. To add extra authenticity, I use barrels as tables. Barrels can be cut in half and processed to create a flat surface for seating chairs or installing a glass tabletop. This will be a unique and interesting design element that will highlight the beer theme. In addition, I will add wooden bars where patrons can order their drinks. Interesting details such as hanging shelves for storing glasses and decorative beer barrels can be used to create a beer garden atmosphere. Ultimately, my McDonald's tap room will combine recognizable McDonald's elements with the unique atmosphere and design of a brew pub. I am sure that this combination will be attractive and interesting for players. I'm so thrilled that I created this McDonald's beer garden. It's amazing how I was able to combine two different concepts, a pub and a fast food restaurant, in one place. McDonald's is associated with delicious food and pleasant memories. The opportunity to create my own McDonald's tap room allows me to bring my own personality and creativity to the project. The idea of adding a beer element to my fast food restaurant is genius. Beer is a drink that is often associated with a relaxed and cozy atmosphere. I imagine how people will gather at my beer McDonald's, enjoy delicious food and beer, communicate and spend time in pleasant company. A few moments later... I don't believe that your McDonald's pub will bring you any money or first visitors. It looks ugly and no one will wear it. Tomorrow we have an opening and we will see which of us will earn more, your beautiful designer McDonald's or my beer McDonald's. A few moments later... Our friend's belly has gotten very big and I think it's time to find out the sex of the baby. Maybe the witch can help us in this matter. Yes, let's turn to the witch. She may have knowledge or ability that will allow us to find out the sex of the child without having to mention intimate details. Good idea. The witch may have access to information that will help us solve this mystery. Let's try to find the witch and ask her our question. I agree. We have explored all scientific possibilities but have not yet found an answer. Perhaps the witch will be able to provide us with new ideas or information that we had not previously considered. Then let's start looking for the witch. Maybe she can help us solve this mystery and find out the gender of our unborn child. Great. We found the house where the witch lives. Now we can find out the gender of our baby. I hope the witch can help us. I really want to find out the gender of my baby so I can come up with a name for him. Hello. I know why you came to me. Do you want to find out the gender of your unborn child? Hello. 
I heard that you are a witch and can help me find out the gender of my baby. I am very interested in this information. What do I need to do to get you to tell me the gender of the baby? Yes, I can help you find out the gender of your baby. But in this case, I require some compensation for my services. I ask for a certain amount of money for providing this information. We'd really like to find out the sex of the baby, but we didn't realize you'd need money to do it. We can now go into the mine and dig up diamonds. I think this option is suitable for you. Okay, I agree to help you find out the sex of your child if you bring me a stack of diamonds. Go to the mine now, and I will prepare everything necessary to find out the sex of your child. Okay, thank you very much. Right now, we will go to the mine for diamonds to find out the gender of my baby as soon as possible. A few moments later... Here they are! The diamonds of our hope! We were able to collect a whole bunch of these gems. We finally have the funds to pay for the services of a witch and find out the gender of our unborn child. This is just a miracle! We searched so persistently for these diamonds and now they lie in front of us. I can't believe that we will actually get the answer to our question thanks to them. Great! Now we have a real chance to solve this mystery. We can contact the witch and use these diamonds as payment for her services. Finally, we will find out who will be born to us, a boy or a girl. Let's start digging for these diamonds. I'm sure there are many more valuable stones here that we can find. Right. Every diamond we find brings us closer to our goal. Finding out the sex of the child is so important for us. Can you imagine if we could find so many diamonds that we could pay for the services of a witch and still have some left over? We can do so much for our future child. A few moments later... Here, witch, we brought you these diamonds that we found. We would like to pay for your services and find out the gender of our unborn child. Oh, what beautiful diamonds. You've made a great find. Give me some time to do my rituals and look into the future. A few moments later... I have good news for you. Your future will be filled with joy and amazing events. You will have not one, but two children at once. Your baby will be a twin. Incredible! We will be parents of twins. This is simply wonderful. I can't believe it. Our family will double in size at once. This will be such an amazing adventure. We need to come up with a name for our children. A few moments later... We're having twins and now it's time to come up with names for them. Let's start the discussion. I suggest considering names that sound beautiful together. For example, Amelia and Alexander. These names go together. I like the idea. What about Leon and Nora? Sounds stylish and unique. What about classic names? Mark and Isabella? They sound elegant and have beautiful historical significance. We have some great options. Let's look at them all and choose names that inspire us and match our ideas about future children. We might also consider names that have special meaning or are connected to our family traditions. For example, if we have a family name that has been passed down through generations, we might include it in our list of options. Good idea. This will help create a bond between our children and their predecessors. Maybe we can name one of them after a beloved grandparent. And what about names that have special meaning or symbolism? For example, a name that signifies strength or wisdom may be a great choice for our future children. Yes, those are great ideas. Let's also take into account the individuality of each child. Maybe we have some special characteristics that we want to reflect in their names. A few moments later... A few moments later... Good afternoon, doctor. I'm glad to meet you. I am pregnant and would like to discuss my condition and receive recommendations for caring for myself and my unborn child. Hello, glad to see you. Congratulations on your pregnancy. How are you feeling? Do you have any specific questions or concerns you would like to share? Overall, I feel pretty good. I sometimes get morning sickness, but it's not too bad. I also noticed that I became more tired. Can you give me some tips for managing these symptoms? Of course I will help you with this. Morning sickness is usually normal during pregnancy. I recommend that you try eating small portions of food more often, avoiding fatty and spicy foods, and eating foods rich in protein and carbohydrates. It is important not to skip meals and avoid long periods of hunger. 
If symptoms persist or worsen, be sure to let me know. Thanks for the advice. I also have questions regarding physical activity. I exercise and would like to know how safe it is to continue exercising during pregnancy. Physical activity during pregnancy can be beneficial, but it is important to choose moderate and safe exercise. Unless you have a medical condition, it is usually recommended to engage in moderate exercise such as walking, swimming, or pregnancy yoga. However, it is important to discuss this with your instructor or supervising physician to tailor your workouts to your condition. Okay, I'll take that into account. Are there other things I need to know about to help keep me and my baby healthy? Of course. It is important to monitor proper nutrition, consume enough vitamins and minerals, including folic acid. It is also recommended to avoid alcohol, smoking, and drug use. Regular visits to your doctor for checkups and necessary tests are also very important. I understand. Thank you for your advice and information, doctor. I will follow your recommendations and contact you if any additional questions or concerns arise. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any additional questions or concerns. I am always ready to help you during this important period of your life. Get all the necessary tests and examinations to make sure you and your baby are in good health. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate your concern and support. I will follow your recommendations and seek medical attention regularly. A few moments later. Wow, this is incredible. We're having twins. I just can't believe it. This is just a miracle. We became the parents of two small, beautiful children. I'm so happy. Hooray, congratulations to all of us. Double happiness has come into our lives. This is so exciting and wonderful. I'm completely shocked by this news. Our babies already bring us so much happiness and I can't wait to see them, hug them, and feed them. I'm sure they'll be so cute and fluffy. I can already imagine how I will play with them and laugh together. Our lives will never be the same. Now we have two little souls who will fill us with love and joy every day. We became parents of twins and it is such a responsibility and a blessing at the same time. I'm sure that we will cope and create a better family for them. Thank you all for being with me at this special moment. Together we will go through all the joys and difficulties of parenthood and we'll do everything possible to make our children happy. Hello everyone, dear friends. We are very glad to see you on our channel. Today, we have survival in Minecraft. I am sure that we will get a very beautiful house in which we will all live together. Let's first dig up as much wood as possible to make a workbench and wooden pickaxes to dig up cobblestones. Let's break down the same tree together to speed up this process. Great, we managed to dig up enough wood to make a workbench and wooden pickaxes. I think I should cut some more wood and start building a workbench so that there will be enough tools for all the guys. While the guys are chopping wood, I will make boards out of wood, and after that, sticks and start making wooden instruments for all the guys. We're doing great. While Fluttershy is making tools for the whole team, I think we should chop some more wood. I think it won't be superfluous. Fluttershy made the tools so quickly that I didn't even have time to chop down the tree, we quickly run to it to get wooden tools that will help us dig the ground faster, and then start collecting cobblestones to make stone tools. We need to dig up as much cobblestone as possible to make stone shovels and pickaxes for all the guys. We will also need to collect cobblestones to make the foundation and terrace for the house. I am sure that we will succeed and we will have a very beautiful house in which we will all live together. We collect the stones so quickly that I can't keep up with the guys, we dug a hole so huge that we could make a descent into the mine from it. It will be necessary to light it so that monsters do not appear from it at night and prevent us from sleeping at night. Let's dig a little more and I think that this will be enough to make stone tools and enough to make the foundation for our house. We're doing great. We collect the stones so quickly that I can't keep up with the guys. We dug a hole so huge that we could make a descent into the mine from it. It will be necessary to light it so that monsters do not appear from it at night and prevent us from sleeping at night. Let's dig a little more and I think that this will be enough to make stone tools and enough to make the foundation for our house. We're doing great. I think a simple clapboard house would be ideal. You can use oak boards for the walls and roof. Simplicity and reliability are what I value in such a house. I agree, simplicity is the key word. We can create a small one-story house with several rooms. For the floor, you can use wooden slabs or wool carpets. I like the idea of a wooden house, but you could add some decorative elements. For example, glass windows or skylights. This will add a little style to your home. Good idea. We can also add a small veranda at the front of the house. 
We can use wooden posts and beams to create a roof over the veranda. This will add some characterization and protect us from the weather. Hey guys, why don't we go to the mine in Minecraft? There we can find many useful resources, such as coal, iron, and even diamonds. Sounds great. The mine is a great place for adventure and treasure hunting. We can create shovels and pickaxes to quickly overcome blocks of earth and stone. Yes, and don't forget that there are dangers in the mine, such as monsters and lava. We need to be careful and ready to fight. Let's take enough weapons and armor with us. What about the equipment? We can make lanterns to light the way in the mine. It's also worth taking some blocks with you to create stairs and bridges across lava rivers or chasms. Great ideas. Let's collect all the necessary equipment and go to the mine. We can explore different levels, search for resources, and fight monsters. And don't forget about communication. Let's take radios with us or create signs to stay in touch with each other. This will help us stay together and warn about dangers. That's right. Safety should come first. Let's also agree on a plan of action if one of us gets lost or gets into trouble. We must always be ready to support each other. I'm so excited for this adventure. Let's go into the mine and see what treasures we can find. It will be fun and exciting. Great idea. Our homes will shine thanks to diamond jewelry. This will add some elegance and luxury to our Minecraft world. Great! Diamonds will help us improve our equipment and cope with stronger monsters. Now we will be invincible. Let's not forget about using diamonds wisely. We can create diamond tools that last longer and work faster. We need to pay attention to the efficiency of resource use. Diamonds are also great for creating jewelry and home decor. We can make diamond blocks and use them to create luxurious decorative items in our home. Hooray! We found diamonds. This is the most valuable resource in Minecraft. Now we have the opportunity to create powerful weapons and armor. And don't forget about trading. Diamonds are a great currency to exchange with villagers or other players. We can get other useful resources or items that we will need. A few moments later. Guys, I think it's time to take revenge on our offenders. What if we blow up their house with dynamite? Hey, wait. We can find another way to solve this problem. Destruction and violence never lead to good results. But we want them to feel how hurtful it is to be victims, just like they hurt us. I understand we're upset, but what if we try a different approach? Maybe we can talk to them and express our feelings without violence. But it won't bring them the same disappointment that they caused us. I understand, but we can show them that we can overcome this and find a solution without harm. Let's prove that we are above such actions. You may be right, we shouldn't stoop to their level. Let's try to talk and find a peaceful solution. Still, we must punish them, so we need to collect as much gunpowder and sand as possible to make dynamite and blow up their house. A few moments later. Great! The guys returned home so quickly that I didn't notice how quickly time flew by. Great! The guys have collected enough ingredients to create dynamite. I will create as much as possible so that nothing remains of their house. They will get what they deserve for attacking the weak and burning down our house, even though now they live on the street and I think that they will be robbed by other bandits in the same way. I will put as much dynamite in their house as possible so that there is nothing left of their house. They will never harm civilians again. This will be a great lesson for them for life that we are not to be trifled with. I'll run away so that I don't get caught in the explosion. I am sure that nothing will remain of their house. A few moments later. Oh no, someone called the police. Now they're taking me to jail. I only wanted to punish the robbers. A few moments later. How did this happen? Because I only wanted to punish the robbers and they were taking me to prison. Why is life so unfair? They robbed us and burned the house and in prison, I... Hey guys. What if we dig a hole at night to rescue our friend from prison in Minecraft? Sounds like an interesting plan. It will be dark at night, so we will have a better chance of sneaking in unnoticed. Yes, we can use the darkness and create an underground tunnel to reach the prison undetected. We'll need some digging tools, like a pickaxe, and maybe some torches to light the way. Let's also figure out the paths closer to the prison to avoid encountering hostile mobs or guards. Maybe we can use blocks like dirt or stone to close the tunnel behind us and hide it. Don't forget about nutrition and health. Let's bring enough food and potion ingredients to keep us in shape. Remember, it's just a game, so let's follow the rules and make sure all players feel comfortable with this plan. 
Great, let's plan all the details and get ready for the night mission to rescue our friend. A few moments later. Hey guys, look, we're on the one block map. This means that we only have one block of land, but we can get other blocks by destroying it. So what should we do? That's right, we have great potential for development here. The first thing we need to do is destroy this block of land and collect the blocks it generates. Let's start by getting the tree. Yes, wood will be our first step towards creating tools and building materials. We can make wooden tools to get more resources. And then, when we have enough resources, we can start building our shelter and develop further. Let's create farms for food and raise livestock for resources and food. And don't forget to explore the surrounding islands. There may be valuable resources or interesting places to explore. We can find chests with useful items or even portals to other dimensions. Yes, let's be creative and experiment with different blocks and recipes. We may be able to create unique items or build impressive structures. And most importantly, work as a team. It will be much easier for us to achieve success if we cooperate, share resources, and help each other. Exactly, friends. Together we can overcome any difficulties and create a real paradise on this one block map. A few moments later... Hooray! We have enough land to start building our island. Let's get started creating our own little piece of paradise. First of all, let's determine what buildings we want to build on the island. Maybe we will have a main house, a place to relax, or even small bungalows for our guests. Let's start with the main house. We can use wood and other materials we have to create a cozy and functional home. And let's not forget about creating convenient areas for recreation and entertainment. We can build terraces where you can enjoy views of the ocean or organize an area for barbecues and evening gatherings. Let's also create a beautiful garden on our island. We can plant flowers, ornamental plants, and create relaxation areas with greenery around. And don't forget the practical aspects. Let's build a water supply and sewerage system to ensure comfortable living conditions on the island. For greater convenience, let's also create paths and paths so that you can easily move around the island and enjoy its beauty. Ultimately, our island will be the perfect place to relax, enjoy nature, and socialize with friends. Let's keep building and make it a place we can be proud of. A few moments later... Look at the progress we've already made. We almost have the base of our island ready, and I can't believe we built it all ourselves. That's really impressive. We have collected enough land and created a stable base. Now is the time to start building our house. I think we should start by drawing up a house plan. We can determine the number of rooms, their layout, and functionality to ensure that our home will meet our needs and desires. Let's also discuss the style and design of the house. We can choose something modern and stylish, or prefer a more traditional and cozy option. It is important that the house matches our overall vision. Let's not forget about functionality and convenience. We can plan an open plan to create spacious and bright spaces, while also catering for the different needs of each of us. For added comfort and luxury, let's discuss the possibility of adding special features such as a fireplace, pool, or sauna. This will make our home even more unique and attractive. We can also pay attention to the use of environmentally friendly and energy efficient materials and technologies in construction. This will help us create an energy efficient home and reduce our footprint on the environment. Let's start building a house with enthusiasm and energy. I'm confident that our home will become the place we have always dreamed of. A few moments later... We decided to build our house from wood, and I think it's a great choice. Wooden houses have their own unique charm and create a warm atmosphere. Absolutely agree. Wood gives a home a natural feel and a sense of connection with nature. Let's start by choosing a quality and durable wood material for construction. 
We can use logs or wooden beams as the main structures of the house. They will ensure the strength and stability of our structure. For walls and partitions, we can use wooden boards or panels. They will add texture and beauty to the interior and exterior of your home. It is important to choose wood that handles moisture well and is not susceptible to rotting. This will ensure the durability and resistance of our home to external conditions. Additionally, we can use wood to create interesting and unique decorative elements inside the home. For example, wooden beams on the ceiling or wooden countertops and floors will add natural charm to every room. Let's also pay attention to insulating and protecting the house from weather conditions. We can use wood shaving with insulation or add additional layers of protective materials. I'm so glad we chose wood to build our house. I am sure that it will not only be beautiful and cozy, but also environmentally friendly. And let's not forget about ventilation and energy efficiency. We can install double glazed windows and ensure good air circulation to ensure our home is comfortable and economical to use. Let's start construction with enthusiasm and care for every detail. Our wooden house will become a real refuge where we will enjoy nature and comfort. A few moments later... We have a great idea. Let's plant a garden and vegetable garden on our territory. This will not only be beneficial for us, but will also add beauty and life to our home. I agree! We can allocate a plot for a garden where we will grow fresh vegetables, fruits and herbs. It will be great to have our own products right in our backyard. And we can create a beautiful garden with flowers, shrubs and trees. This will add beauty and coziness and will also attract birds and butterflies. Let's discuss what plants we want to grow in the garden. We can choose vegetables that we love and eat often so that we always have them on hand. We can also consider growing organic food. This will not only be beneficial for us, but also contributes to the ecological balance. To care for the garden and vegetable garden, we need regular watering, tillage, and weed removal. We can share responsibilities and take care of them together. Let's also create cozy places to relax in the garden where we can enjoy nature in our efforts. We can install benches, benches, or hammocks. I'm so glad we decided to create a garden. This will not only be beneficial to our physical health, but will also contribute to our mental well-being. Let's start planning and preparing the site. I am sure that our garden and vegetable garden will become wonderful places where we will spend time together and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Oh, it's great that we have already started planting trees. We have already planted several trees on our site. We have several pine trees that provide beautiful green foliage and give our place a cozy atmosphere. Sounds great. We also planted some fruit trees, such as apple and pear trees. Not only will they be beautiful, but they will also allow us to enjoy fresh fruit. Amazing! I'm glad we've already started. What other plans do we have for the future? We can continue to plant more trees of different types. I would be interested in trying to plant ornamental trees that would add variety and beauty to our garden. Sounds like a great idea. Let's continue to plant trees and create a green space where we can enjoy nature and shady places. Oh, it's great that we have already started planting wheat and building a fence. We have already planted several rows of wheat on our plot. We have small beds where wheat grows, and I have set up a watering system to keep the plants hydrated at all times. Sounds great! What fence did we choose, and what does it look like? We built a simple wooden fence around our garden area. It looks natural and protects our plants from animals and unwanted visitors. Amazing! I'm glad we've already started. What other plans do we have for the future? We can continue to develop our garden by planting more wheat and other useful plants. You can also add some decorative elements to add even more beauty to your garden. Sounds like a great plan. Let us continue to plant wheat and improve our garden so that it becomes a beautiful and fruitful place. Hi all. Today we decided to check how different the lives of the rich and the poor are. I noticed that you and I have significant differences in our gaming experience and achievements. I have a lot of resources. I built a huge mansion and have access to advanced technology. What do you think about it? Yes, I noticed that we have different levels of development in the game. I just started and am just gathering basic resources for survival. I have a modest home and basic tools, but I am enjoying the process and gradually improving. Yes, I really enjoy the opportunities that my wealth provides me. I can build complex mechanisms, automatic farms, and trade with other players. This makes the game even more interesting. I understand that I don't have as many opportunities as you, but I'm focused on survival and gradual development. I find joy in exploring the world, mining resources, and creating simple but functional buildings. 
I think our differences in gaming experience create interesting diversity in our game. We can learn from each other and interact to make the game even more fun. Yes, I agree. Let's check how significant the differences are between the poor and the rich. I think that building a house from Earth might be a good idea for us considering our limited access to resources. The land is quite accessible, and we can use it to create a cozy home. Yes, I agree. There are several benefits to building a house out of dirt. Firstly, this is free material that we can find almost anywhere. Secondly, the Earth has good thermal insulation, which can help us keep warm inside the house. Also, Earth can be quite a strong material, especially if we compact it tightly during construction. We can build the walls and ceiling from Earth and then cover them with a layer of clay or stone to strengthen the structure. We can also use the soil to create indoor landscaping. For example, we can make a dirt floor and grow plants right inside the house. This will add some natural atmosphere and make our home more pleasant. Yes, using land to build a house can also help us save time and effort. We will not spend a lot of time mining and processing other materials that may be more resource intensive. Overall, building a house from Earth can be a great option for us considering our limited resources. It is economical, environmentally friendly, and can create a cozy and functional home. Great, let's start digging the Earth here in this area. Okay, I'll take a shovel and start removing the top layer of grass and loosening the ground. Okay, I'll take a shovel and start removing the top layer of grass and loosening the ground. Yes, good idea. Let's make a hole deep enough for the foundation. By gradually removing the soil, we can create a space in which our future walls will be strengthened. Great, keep digging while I can use the soil we dug up to create small load-bearing walls for support. We can use stones or wooden blocks as support posts. Wonderful. Once we are done with the foundation and walls, we can use the remaining soil to create a floor covering inside the house. This will help us make it more comfortable and cozy. Yes, everything is going according to plan. We continue to dig and use the earth to gradually build our home. This may be a time-consuming process, but the results will be worth our effort. Absolutely agree. We work together to create a home from the earth that reflects our skills and creativity. Gradually, step by step, our cozy home will become a reality. I have an idea. We can speed up the process of extracting valuable resources if we buy modern tools. We have enough funds to purchase high quality and efficient tools that will help us increase productivity and reduce mining time. Yes, that's a great idea. We can start by purchasing powerful drilling rigs that will allow us to quickly penetrate deep into the earth and extract valuable minerals. These rigs may be expensive, but they will save us a lot of time and effort. Wow, look what we found. A bunch of diamonds, gold, and emeralds. This is incredible wealth. Indeed, these are valuable resources. We now have enormous opportunities for development and creation of powerful items. Let's immediately collect all these resources and transfer them to our database. We can use them to create improved equipment, weapons, and tools. I agree. We will also need a smelting furnace and a workbench to process these resources into useful items. We can create diamond armor and weapons, and use gold and emeralds to create unique items. In addition, we can use emeralds to trade with residents and get other useful items and resources. With such wealth, we can become powerful players. Based on our resources and capabilities in Minecraft, we can create a powerful kingdom or develop a huge base. This will give us an advantage over other players and allow us to enjoy the gameplay on a new level. A few moments later. We don't have much money, but we have land. Let's use what we have and build a house out of the earth. Yes, that's a great idea. Earth can be a durable and affordable building material. We will be able to save money that we would have spent on expensive building materials. Let's start by preparing the foundation. We must select a suitable piece of land and level it to create a stable foundation for the house. Then we can use the earth to create walls. We have to form clay bricks or use adobe construction techniques to build strong and stable walls. For the roof, we can use a layer of clay, grass, or other natural materials. They will help protect us from weather conditions and ensure home insulation. Inside the house, we can use earth and other available materials to create dividing walls, floors, and furniture. This will allow us to use resources efficiently and save money. Don't forget to also provide the necessary communications, such as electricity and running water. We can use simple and affordable methods to provide basic comfort in your home. 
Yes, and don't forget about safety. We must ensure good ventilation and fire safety measures to keep our home safe. Ultimately, although our home will be simple and modest, we will be able to provide a roof over our heads using available resources and our own efforts. And most importantly, we will have our own place to call home, where we can feel safe and comfortable. We have a huge amount of diamonds, and I think we can use them to build the most luxurious and impressive diamond house. Yes, that sounds amazing. We can create a real visual masterpiece and a unique place to live. Let's start with the foundation. We can use large diamonds to create a strong and shiny foundation for our home. Then we can use the diamonds as building blocks for the walls. We can create brilliant and elegant walls that will become a real work of art. The roof can be made from large diamond slabs. This will give our home a luxurious and shiny look. Inside the house, we can use diamonds to create precious furniture, chandeliers, and other interior elements. Our home will sparkle and shine from the inside. Of course, we must also provide all the necessary communications and amenities so that our home is not only beautiful, but also functional. We can use diamonds to create special lighting systems and other technical devices. It's important to remember that while our home will be incredibly luxurious, we also need to ensure it is safe and functional. Energy efficiency and safety aspects must be taken into account during design and construction. Of course, our diamond house will be amazing and unique, but also very expensive. We must be prepared for high construction and maintenance costs. In any case, creating a house from diamonds will be a manifestation of our wealth and luxury. We will be able to enjoy a unique and prestigious stay in our unique home. A few moments later... We have always believed that wealth and having material things will bring us happiness. But in the end, it is not that important. Yes, we may not have a lot of money or luxury things, but we have other values that are much more important. We rich people often think that money and material possessions will bring us happiness, but this is not always the case. They may give us comfort and opportunity, but true happiness lies somewhere deeper. We may have money, but if we do not find meaning in life, do not build quality relationships with other people and do not take care of our inner well-being, that our wealth becomes empty. It is important to value interpersonal relationships, love, health, and spiritual development. These things are not available for purchase, but they are the true sources of happiness. We can be happy with little material wealth if we have a loving family, true friends, and the opportunity to do what inspires us. We may have money, but if we do not find meaning in life, do not build quality relationships with other people and do not take care of our inner well-being, then our wealth becomes empty. Yes, and it's important to remember that true happiness does not depend on external circumstances. It is within us and we can find it even if we do not have great wealth. In this video, we found out that money does not buy happiness. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and wait for new videos on our channel. See you soon. A few moments later. Hey, we lost chests with things where they could have been put. Just imagine, things were stolen from our chest. What do we do? Yes, this is a really unpleasant situation. We have several options. Firstly, we can contact the police and report the theft. They can begin an investigation and possibly help us recover the stolen items. Yes, the police are a good option. But I think we should also check the video footage if there is any. Maybe we have surveillance cameras that can help us identify the culprit of the theft. Good idea. We can also reach out to our neighbors and ask if they have seen anything suspicious in our area recently. It makes sense to check. Maybe one of them noticed something important. Yes. All of these options sound reasonable. We must collect as much information as possible and pass it on to the police. Also be sure to check if we have insurance on our items. We may be able to get compensation for what was stolen. I agree. Let's act quickly and coordinate all our efforts. The sooner we take action, the greater the chance of getting our items back or receiving compensation. 
A few moments later. Guys, let's start looking for our things. Let's find out from the residents. Maybe someone saw or heard something and will help us find the thieves. Hello? Our chests with things were stolen last night. Maybe you saw or heard something? I hope you can help us find the thieves. Yes, today I saw some thieves carrying chests around the village. They live in a neighboring house. I am sure that you will be able to find your things and punish the thieves. Thank you very much for your help. I'm sure we can find the thieves. I think they live in this house. Let's go to their house. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to meet them at home. There was no one at home. I wonder where they could have gone. You need to look carefully. Hey guys, I found some kind of lever. I wonder if it leads to some kind of secret room. Need to check. Look, there is a secret room under the bed. We need to go down there quickly to find the thieves. I'm sure we can get our things back. I hope I don't crash. Hey guys, we found ourselves in some abandoned and scary house. We need to find a way out of here. Let's divide into groups so that we have a better chance of finding a way out of here. Otherwise, we will die. Oh god, we ended up in a scary house. How quickly can we find a way out of here? Calm down, let's stay cool. First of all, let's go around all the rooms and look for a way out. Let's check the doors and windows. Maybe one of them is open or poorly closed. Good idea. Let's split up and search different parts of the house. But be careful, don't go too far from me. Of course, I'll be careful. Let's also pay attention to any suspicious sounds or signs that may indicate an exit. Maybe there are some traces or signs. That's right. Let's be careful and pay attention to all the details. If we find a way out, let's signal each other so we don't get lost. I agree. Also, if we can't find a way out ourselves, let's try using our cell phones to call for help or send a message to someone outside. Great idea. Let's not lose hope and keep looking. We will definitely find a way out of this terrible house. We just need to remain determined and cooperate. Exactly. Together we can handle it. Let's keep moving and don't stop until we get out of here. Oh no, we're lost in this scary house. What should we do? How will we find each other? Calm down, don't panic. Let's try to navigate and find a way to reunite. First of all, let's pay attention to our surroundings. Are there any unique features or objects that will help us determine where we are? Good idea. I see a large staircase at the end of the corridor. Maybe this is a key element that will help us navigate the house. Great, remember those stairs. I see an old fireplace insert in one of the rooms. If we can find another firebox like this, it might be a useful guide. Let's also use the light from our cell phones to light the way and pay attention to any exits or signs. And let's not forget to leave traces to show someone else where we've been. We can use chalk or some objects to leave marks on the walls or floor. Indeed, that's a good idea. Let's be careful and leave traces to make our reunion easier. Don't lose hope. We will definitely find each other and get out of this terrible house. I agree. Let's be decisive and careful. Together we will get through this. A few moments later. Oh no, we ended up behind bars with thieves. How can we get out of here? Anyone, help us. Hey, help us get out of here. Throw us a ladder or a pickaxe so we can break down this grate. Great, now I have a pickaxe, and I can get out of this grate and help the other guys get out of here. Great, I freed Pinkie Pie. Now all I have to do is help Applejack and Rainbow Dash. I am sure that together we will be able to repel the robbers and return our things that they stole from us. There is very little left. I'm sure there will be a serious fight now, so I'll take a sword just in case. I'm sure we can defeat them all together. Get what you deserve, sneaky thieves. Because you stole our things and decided to hide with them in the secret room under the bed. Did you think that we wouldn't be able to find you and punish you for your vile deeds? I said that we would find you and punish you. Get paid for keeping us in a cage. We will always get out of any cages and punish all criminals. Great. We've almost gotten rid of all the criminals. Only the last one remains. You will also be punished like your friends. We have dealt with all the criminals. Let's quickly take our things and go home as soon as possible. Let's pick up these diamonds as soon as possible and go home. Wow, look how many diamonds we found in Minecraft. This is simply incredible. I can't even believe my eyes. This is a real treasure trove. We have so many options now. We can create the most powerful tools and armor and build magnificent structures. Yes, but let's be careful. Diamonds are very valuable and can attract the attention of other players. We need to find a safe place to store them and consider how to best use them. I agree. Let's create a secure storage facility for diamonds so that no one can steal them. And then we can share them between us and use them to improve our gaming experience. And don't forget that diamonds can also be used to trade with other players on the server. 
We can get other useful resources that we will need. Yes, that's a great idea. We can exchange some diamonds for rare items or materials that we need for our projects. That sounds great. Let's make the most of this opportunity and continue our Minecraft adventure with the new features these diamonds have given us. And another idea. We can use some of the diamonds to create portals to other dimensions. This will open up new worlds and adventures for us. Indeed, that sounds exciting. We will be able to explore the nether or even the void, where new resources and dangers await us. Don't forget about the ability to create diamond blocks. We can use them to build luxurious and impressive structures. Our base will look incredible. And one more idea. We can share some diamonds with other players on the server. We can organize trades or gift diamonds to newbies to help them on their gaming journey. All these ideas sound great. Let's create a plan and decide how we will use our diamonds. It is important that we are all satisfied and get the most out of them. I agree. Let's get together and discuss all the possibilities. We can distribute diamonds between us, taking into account our individual goals and needs. And let's not forget to keep some diamonds in reserve. What if we need it in the future for particularly important projects or situations? Great! Let's start planning and decide how to use these piles of diamonds in Minecraft. We have a lot of options open to us and I'm sure we can do something truly amazing. Great! We've collected all the diamonds and can now return home. A few moments later... Great! We returned our stolen things and punished the robbers. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and wait for new videos on our channel. See you soon. Hey guys, our friend has news. Fluttershy pregnant. How did this happen? We just saw her a couple of weeks ago and she wasn't pregnant. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe she said something about meeting someone special? No, I haven't met anyone special. I don't even understand how this could happen. Maybe it was an unexpected result from the pregnancy test. But she said she had no signs of pregnancy until the last time we met. Maybe it was something medical? Perhaps she should consult a doctor. Yes, I have already made an appointment with the doctor. I hope he can explain how this happened. Well, in any case, we will support you and be by your side throughout this time. What should we do now? We don't have a home. Where will the child live? Let's do this now. Build us a new house where the child will live. A few moments later... We decided to build a house for the child. Let's collect wood to begin construction. Yes, we need to collect enough wood to create the walls, floor, and roof of the house. Let's go into the forest and start cutting down trees. I suggest choosing trees that are suitable for building a children's house. Maybe we'll need oak or birch blocks. It's important not to forget about conservation. Let's choose the trees that need to be cut down and be careful not to damage the environment. We can work as a team. One of us can cut down a tree and the rest can collect the fallen wood blocks. This will speed up the process. Once we've collected enough wood, we can go back and start building the house. We can use wood blocks for walls and floors, and we can also create a roof using wood slats. Let's also think about the safety and comfort of the child inside the home. We can add windows and doors and decorate the inside of the house to create a pleasant environment for the child. It is also important to consider the size and shape of the house so that it is suitable for the child. We can create a small play area or add special elements that the child will enjoy. When we finish construction, we will have a wonderful home for children where they can play and have fun. Let's start. A few moments later. Well guys, let's start building a wooden house for our child. We have the wood blocks we collected and the tools to work with. Really, let's start by laying the foundation. We can use wood blocks to create a strong base on a flat area. After we've created the foundation, let's start building the walls. We can use wood blocks to create walls around the foundation. Let's also add windows to let more light into the house. We can use glass blocks or create wooden windows. For the roof, we can use wooden slats. We can create a sloped roof to protect your home from rain and snow. It's also important to create a front door. We can use wooden doors to create a safe and welcoming entrance to your home. What about the inside of the house? Let's create a small play area or decorate the walls with paintings and drawings to make the house more interesting for our child. I think we'll also need some furniture. We can create wooden chairs, tables, or a bed so that the child can play and relax comfortably inside the house. When we finish construction, we will have a wonderful wooden house for our child. Let's work together and create a wonderful place for them to play and grow. A few moments later... Look, I think you should go to the doctor. You are pregnant, and it is important to monitor your health and the health of your baby. Yes, I agree. 
The doctor will be able to conduct an examination and give recommendations on proper nutrition, physical activity, and other aspects related to pregnancy. The doctor will also be able to perform the necessary medical tests and examinations to make sure that everything is fine with you and the baby. He will be able to give you the necessary advice and provide medical assistance if necessary. In addition, the doctor will be able to answer all your questions and remove any doubts you may have. You should not neglect your health and the health of your child, so it is better to consult a specialist. And remember that doctors have the experience and knowledge to provide you with the best possible health during pregnancy. Feel free to discuss all your concerns and questions with them. So please go to the doctor's appointment so that you and the baby get all the medical attention and care you need. This is important for your well-being and health. But I feel fine and nothing bothers me. Why should I go to the doctor? I understand that you may have this opinion, but the doctor has specialized education and experience to assess your condition and the health of the child. They can detect problems that may not be apparent to us. A few moments later... Hello, doctor. We came with our friend who is pregnant to find out what measures she should take for the health of her baby and herself. We would also like to know about recommended diet and physical activity during pregnancy. What foods and exercises are most beneficial? We also ask about possible complications that need to be looked out for. What symptoms or problems may occur? Thank you, doctor. We really appreciate your help and recommendations. We want our friend and her baby to stay healthy. We need to go to the mine to mine diamonds and buy everything necessary for the child so that he does not need anything. I am sure that we will have time to do everything before the baby is born. We have great news. We have discovered some diamonds and are thinking of using them to buy necessary things for our friend and her unborn child. Indeed, this is an amazing find. Diamonds can bring us significant funds to provide the baby with everything he needs. First, we need to find a professional appraiser to evaluate the value of the diamonds. We need to make sure we get a fair price for them. After the appraisal, we can start selling the diamonds and get the money. We can then make a list of things that are necessary for the newborn, such as a stroller, crib, clothes, diapers, and other items. We might also consider opening a bank account for the unborn child. This will help us save some funds for his future education or other needs. It's important to remember that we need to be smart in how we use these tools. We must purchase only necessary things and ensure the well-being of mother and child. Yeah, I agree. It is always better to focus on the quality and safety of the products and items we buy. We may consult a doctor or child development specialist for guidance on choosing the right products. This way, we can use the proceeds from the sale of diamonds wisely and provide the baby with everything necessary for his health and comfort. Let's start appraising diamonds and start buying things for our friend and her child. This is a real gift that will help them start a new life with joy and security. A few moments later... Hi, I would like to buy some toys for my child. I want to please him and give him a little surprise. I would like to see your best suggestions for construction toys and toy cars. I want to choose a few toys so he has variety and interesting options to play with. A few moments later... I have a great idea. We can make a playground for our child. This will be a great place for him to play and develop. Oh, I love this idea. Let's start planning. What elements and activities can we include in the site? I think we need to add a swing, a slide, a sandbox, and a little house. These are classic elements that children usually love and that contribute to their physical and social development. Sounds great. Maybe we'll also add a small sports corner with a basketball hoop or soccer goal. This will help stimulate activity and develop coordination skills. The sports corner idea is great. We can also add some interactive toys such as a pad with buttons and switches to stimulate mental development and imagination. I agree. Educational toys and elements will be a great addition. In addition, we need to ensure safety on site. We must use safe materials and ensure that all elements are installed firmly and properly secured. Absolutely agree. Safety must be our priority. We can also add padding on the ground to soften impacts and prevent injury. And yes, let's not forget about sun protection. We can install a canopy or shade area so that the child can play on the playground even in hot weather. Sounds like a plan. Let's make a list of the necessary materials and tools to start construction. We can do this together and create a wonderful place for our child. I agree. This will be a fun project and the result will delight us and our child. Let's get started and make the best playground ever. Hello, Fluttershy. While you were in the hospital, we prepared a playground for the child. Children are just a miracle. They have brought so much joy and meaning into my life. They teach me to be patient, to care, and to love unconditionally. Absolutely agree. Children taught me to appreciate small moments and enjoy simple things. 
Their pure sincerity and innocence always delights me. Children are our future. When I look at them, I see hope and potential. They have such an irresistible strength and zest for life that inspires me to be a better person. And also, children teach us to be more responsible and organized. We must be an example for them and take care of their well-being and development. This is a very important role that helps us become more mature and selfless. All these moments of parenthood are the real treasures in life. Although they may be difficult and present some challenges, they bring us so much joy and happiness. I am grateful for every day I spend with my children. Yes, children are a wonderful journey. We raise them, and they in turn change us and our understanding of the world. I can't imagine my life without them. I agree. May our children always be surrounded by love and care. They are our most valuable treasure, and we are willing to do anything to help them grow and become happy and successful people. Yes, children are wonderful. Our lives become brighter and more meaningful thanks to them. We should take every moment with them and enjoy this amazing journey of parenthood. Hey guys, I'm shocked. Found out that our friend got pregnant in Minecraft. But how could this happen? After all, there are no pregnancy mechanics in the game. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe this is some kind of magic or spell. Minecraft has magical elements, so this might be possible. Yes, I've heard about the abilities of some magical items or creatures in the game. Perhaps she encountered such a magical image that led to pregnancy. Yes, this is truly a magical image. During my journey through Minecraft, I found a rare magical artifact ore that, I later learned, has the ability to grant pregnancy to a character. This is an unusual and interesting element that I decided to include in my game. Wow, that sounds amazing. I've never heard of such a magical element in Minecraft. What other secrets does this game hide? Really amazing. You are lucky to have found this ore and to be able to create such unique situations in the game. This adds more options in adventure. Okay, guys. Let's continue collecting materials to build a school in Minecraft. We will need various resources to create a stable and beautiful building. Let's share responsibilities. Some may be quarrying wood, while others may be looking for stone or other materials for walls and floors. Let's also not forget about decorative elements. We can collect color blocks to add variety and beauty to our school. And let's not forget about the functional elements. We will need bookshelves, desks, blackboards, and other items to make the school realistic and playable. Great. Let's work together to get everything we need. Once we have enough materials, we can start building a school in Minecraft. A few moments later... I think we should create a school with a grand appearance. We can use the boards to build a stone facade with decorations in the form of columns and arches. I agree. Let's add some architectural details to give the building some sophistication. We can use boards to create patterns or carved elements on the facade. What about the surrounding area? Let's create a beautiful landscaping with trees, flowers, and paths to make the school look even more attractive. Yes, and let's not forget about the interior. We can use the boards to create a warm and welcoming environment inside the school. Additionally, we can add decorative elements such as carpets, pictures on the walls, and plants. Sounds great! Let's make school a place that inspires students and creates an enjoyable learning environment. We can also add some architectural features to make the school unique. For example, build a tower or dome on the roof to give the building a dramatic appearance. Let's create an attractive entrance to the school. We can use boards to create elegant double doors and decorate them with carvings or floral designs. Great idea. Let's also add a student council and an office with a reception desk. This will help create a more realistic and functional school environment. A few moments later... Dear, we are really worried about your health and the health of the child. We suggest that you go to your doctor for regular medical checkups and get the support you need. Thank you guys for your concern. I also understand the importance of regular doctor visits during pregnancy. I agree to go to the appointment and ensure the health of my unborn child. Great! We can help you find a good doctor and make an appointment. Don't put it off. Seeing a doctor early will help detect and prevent any problems that may arise. Rainbow Dash, don't hesitate to contact us if you need help with going to the doctor or other issues. We are here to support you throughout this process. A few moments later... Hello, doctor. We brought our friend to the hospital as she is going into labor. We ask you to accept her and provide the necessary medical care. Thank you very much, doctor. We have complete confidence in your team, and thank you for your help. We will leave her in your caring hands and wait for good news. We need to go to the mine to get diamonds to buy the necessary furniture for the school. 
I want the school to be completely ready when the child arrives. A few moments later. Wow, look what we found! Diamonds! This is incredible! Wow, this is truly really an amazing find. We can get to collect a huge amount of diamonds, but what are we going to do with them? Good question. We can invest some of the diamonds in improving our school. Our furniture and equipment are already quite old and need to be replaced. Great idea. We can purchase new tables and chairs for classrooms to create a comfortable environment for students. You can also update your library and purchase new books and educational materials. Yes, this will be a great investment in the future of our students. We may also consider purchasing new computers and technical equipment for computer science classes. I agree. It is important to provide our students with modern learning tools. What else can we buy for school? Maybe we can improve the playground and buy new sports equipment. This will help encourage students to be active and develop sports skills. Great idea. It may also be worth thinking about creating a cozy green courtyard or garden around the school. This will create a pleasant atmosphere for students and allow them to enjoy nature. Great idea. When we invest in the education and comfort of students, we are investing in the future. Let's make a plan and contact the school administration with our proposals. A few moments later. We need to buy all the necessary furniture for the school as soon as possible while Rainbow Dash is in the hospital and prepare the school for opening. I just bought all the necessary things for our school. I have new tables, chairs, books, computers, and even sports equipment. Students will be excited about these new opportunities. Your dedication and care for the school inspires me. I just wanted to do something good for our educational environment. I believe that a comfortable and modern school environment will help students learn and develop better. We need to equip the school with all the necessary furniture as soon as possible, so that when we have another child, the children can go straight to school. I'm sure Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash will be delighted with these purchases, and they don't expect at all how amazing the school we built while they were in the hospital. New furniture will help students study comfortably, and it will also be safe for their health. I am sure the children will really enjoy their beautiful and modern school. Great, I'm done. Now I need to go to the hospital and visit Rainbow Dash. A few moments later. We need to check on Rainbow Dash. They should be discharged today. Hey Rainbow Dash, while you were in the hospital, we went to the mine and collected diamonds to buy new furniture for the school. The school is ready to open. A few moments later. Hey guys, how are our children coping with their studies at a new school? They've adapted really well. My son says that his teachers teach the subjects in a very interesting way, and he has already made new friends. My daughter is also full of enthusiasm. She says the new school offers a wide range of extracurricular activities and development opportunities. My son is very happy too. He says that the lessons have become more interesting, and the teachers support them and help them with every question. That's great to hear. We can be proud parents as we see our children actively learning and finding their place in their new school environment. Exactly. I am confident that our children will continue to thrive and achieve great things in their new school. Let's support them and help them in everything they do. After all, our happiness is their success. I agree. Let's continue to rejoice and be proud of our students, their achievements, and future successes. A few moments later. We are very glad that our parents turned out to be very caring and built this new modern school for us, where we can gain knowledge and learn something new. I want each of you to have such loving parents. We are very happy to study at this school. Our first day at school was just wonderful. Here, we will not only learn, but also find new friends, develop and create unforgettable memories. School is my second home, where I feel like an important and loved part of the community. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and wait for new videos on our channel. See you soon. Hello, dear followers. Hi, my favorite Spike. Finally, we met to play in the Minecraft. I have waited so long for us to play the Minecraft alone. You would have known. Well? Hello, Fluttershy. I'm also very glad to see you. Finally, we got out to play together in the Minecraft. This is just wonderful. I am very happy. So, Fluttershy, what do you think? What are we going to do now? Um, Spike, to be honest, I have no idea. I don't even know what we can do. Maybe now we'll go find some village. Ah! Uh, probably we will now go kill Ender Dragon. Hmm. Fluttershy, to be honest, you didn't get a lot wrong. Killing a dragon is certainly a good idea, but think about it a little more. Give me something not so aggressive. A little bit passive. You should think. Um, Spike, to be honest, I don't even know what we can do. Maybe we'll go build a house? Hmm. And this is a great idea. 
Come quickly to extract resources for our house. Only we are in some desert. I don't see a single tree. Let's go look for trees. We need to make tools. Spike, this is just a great idea. I too really want to build a house. We will live in it together. It has to be very big. Fluttershy, just look how wonderful the world is in the Minecraft. This is just a limitless desert. But in this desert, somehow there are lakes. Honestly, it's very strange. Yes, but I did not get a lot of cane. It will be very useful to us, so don't forget to take it. By the way, this world is really very beautiful. I really like it. Spike, and tell me something interesting about the Minecraft. Hmm. What should I tell you so interesting? At least I think that ahead of us I see trees. Ran faster there so we could get them. And that's something we have long been wandering this desert. During this time, we would have built a house. Wow! There really are trees out there. Spike, come quickly to mine. Mine will be near and you go cut further. Because I got to that tree faster, but all right, let's just get these trees and figure out what we're gonna do. All right, Fluttershy, I also ran to extract wood. And what should we scrape from this tree? Maybe you can make us wooden tools. I think that would be a good idea. Spike, I think scraping wooden tools would be a pretty good idea. Let's do it. I'll make us a wooden axe and a wooden pickaxe and we'll go get the stone for our house. All right, come on, Fluttershy. Hurry up and give me my wooden tools and we'll get the stone for our future base. Our house should be big and beautiful. So now that we've got the tools, we need to go get the stone and if possible, the precious ores, which will be useful for our future survival. So far, we only have wooden tools. So we will also need stone in creating new tools that will make it much easier for us to get one or the other thing. So I think now we can get to the quarrying. We just start digging underground and find the stone. Spike, hurry up and get your pickaxe and we'll go dig for the rock. I can't wait to get started. I picked the right place to start our archaeological dig. Ha ha ha. Wow! Fluttershy, hello! We dug into each other and now let's dig around the area. I can already see that there is iron ore here which we will need in the future, but we mainly need only stone so we dig only it. The more we dig, the cooler our cabin will be and he will serve us for a very long time and he will not be afraid of any trouble or disaster. In addition to the stone, there is a lot of coal. Fluttershy, you also please do not miss it because we will need it for lighting in the house. We will make a torch out of it. We also need it for the furnace. It will work like fuel. But don't forget about the rock and ore here. All right, Spike, I'm about to start digging for coal. I find it very amusing when we dig underground and dig for stone. But at the same time, we need it, so we try our best. I'll soon have a whole tunnel underground while I'm digging this stone. Ha ha ha. I'm tired of digging. I'd sit down and rest. But it's better to do it now and not wait until later, because this day is almost over and we have to do it tonight because we have nowhere to sleep. The two of us will get through this quickly. We just need to speed up and finish this rock. Fluttershy, I think we've dug up enough rock and other resources already, so I suggest we leave this cave. For the basics of a house where we can already live, it is enough. So drop the case and go out on the bright street. Fluttershy, now we're finally starting to build our big cozy house for two. It will be one story, but it will be like one big room, so it is very convenient and always will be at hand. The construction of the house begins with the foundation. The foundation must be strong enough to withstand the weight of the building. Then the walls and roof are built. It is important to properly place the windows and doors to provide access to light and air. I totally get it and I knew it before you even told me. But thank you so much for reminding me of everything and now I'm gonna build a beautiful house with your help. This is my first experience in building houses, so please don't judge. When we finish the house, I have already figured out how we will decorate it. Inside the house, you can place furniture and other interior items. You can also add decorative elements such as paintings, flowers, and other decorations. The final stage of construction is the installation of doors and windows. Doors must be strong and reliable to protect the house from intruders. Windows should provide sufficient light and ventilation. The finished house should be comfortable and safe for our stay. It should protect us from enemies and provide you with a maestro for rest and storage of things. I fully agree with your statement, Fluttershy. As always, you were right and we will do exactly as you said. We have a beautiful house. We will have a wonderful stone floor which is very reliable and will never move. And the walls will be wooden to keep them warm in the house. 
I think I should leave some window openings so we don't break anything and our house just fell apart. Thank you, Spike. I love that you understand me. I love that we all do things together. I build walls and you put windows in them. It is very exciting to build a house. I would probably become a builder. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. I really appreciated the idea of windows on each wall. We're going to have a symmetrical and light accessible house that we're going to live in for a long time. Soon we will finish it. We have only the walls and the roof. Then we will only build a house inside the house. There are some final touches to this house. Now I'm going to put big windows in our house, and we're going to start building our stone roof, which will save us from any emergencies. At last, we have only a little left until the end of this long and not quite painful construction. Fluttershy, we'll be moving into our cabin soon. Get ready. Hurrah, Spike. I am so happy about this. I am so grateful to you for being here. Without you, I would not have built such a beautiful house. From the outside, he looks super. I want to create an interior for him and see what will look like inside. While you're building, I'll make the door that we're going to walk into. It's made on a six-block woodwork edge. I'll put it somewhere in the wall and you will fix it. This house I consider the most comfortable for life. It is both compact and it will have everything you need to live in Minecraft. All right, Fluttershy, we're definitely almost there. I'm finishing up the last wall and putting the windows in. After that, I will make a small arrangement inside. So to speak, I will make a modest interior. It will be two chests, for storage of all our things, as well as a workbench. We can assume that the house is completely built, and now we can safely settle in it. It was not easy, but we coped with it in one day. Spike, I can't believe our survival ended so quickly. I'm a little sad. Okay, viewers, thank you all for watching this video. Do not forget to like under this video. We will be very pleased. Bye! Fluttershy, I also very much liked our survival today. Hope we can continue it as fast as possible. Audience, and you do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be very pleased. Thank you for watching. See you for new meetings.